there are people in the world that have been able to somehow draw on a power stronger than themselves, a power that seems near infinite, like an endless well of energy. These kind of people have learned to master the power of the flow state. The flow state is the most powerful force in the universe, giving you the capacity for near infinite energy, passion, motivation, and confidence. It gives charisma, it gives the power to achieve everything you want to achieve, and it gives you the power to truly conquer the world. Now in today's video, I'm going to show you the four things you need to do to enter into a state of flow. But before we get into that, I want to look at some of the people that were able to harness the power of the flow state and how they use it on a day to day basis. What is so fascinating about people like Alfred Einstein is their capacity to pull on the flow state in order to transcend the boundaries of self and to achieve more than what is humanly possible. But how do they do it? People like Elon Musk, Da Vinci and Albert Einstein were all known for their kind of eccentric individualism. And so you should know that the flow state comes at a price, the price of being yourself. And because of this, People like Elon Musk, Albert Einstein and Da Vinci were unfathomably creative, intelligent and gifted in not just conceiving ideas but also bringing ideas but to reality. Beyond that, all of these people were fierce individualists that walked their own path in life and made their own decisions, sometimes going against and challenging their own government or political beliefs in their society. Because of this, people who harness the flow state are seen as a bit crazy. These are the gurus that speak to us in riddles. These are the people that have been able to do the impossible. These are people that are capable of doing something that makes us perceive them as slightly supernatural, slightly magical. These kind of people seem to have the capacity to work longer hours and to put in more passion and more effort into life than any of us seem capable of. So what are the four things that these people do in order to maintain the power of flow? The first thing these people do and something they've been doing consistently all along is they've been true to themselves. While most of us walk through life riddled with self-doubt and insecurities, sometimes second-guessing ourselves, questioning who we are, why we do what we do, and wanting, wishing that we were somebody else, these are the kind of people that have always been kind of unforgivingly themselves. And this has been also something that has given them quite a great deal of criticism. And when we look at these kind of people, people like Gandhi, people like uh, Martin Luther King, and others, what we see is they have a lot of problems. They're not perfect. And that's what it's like to be human. Human beings are not perfect. People that try to be perfect often end up being nothing at all, insignificant and insubordinate to the world around them. So advice number one is to find the strength to be yourself fully and completely. Let yourself be weird around other people and allow yourself to be weird, not just by yourself, but also by other people online, on social media or wherever you go. So wherever you go, take yourself with you and never forget who you are. Take the time to study your personality and learn about your unique quirks and personality traits and learn about how you can be and wield your personality traits with pride to the outer world. If you take this advice, you're going to find that you have a greater sense of flow than even my sense of sunburn. Advice number two is to think about what your true passion in life is. Probably you'll spend a lot of energy and a lot of will into things that don't really matter. You'll find yourself complaining about things that you have no control over. You'll find yourself being annoyed by si tiny things in your life that are not perfect. And you'll find yourself frustrated doing things that you don't really want to do. People that are in flow commit themselves 100% to what they want to do. And that means they find the capacity to and they choose to do what they love in everything they do. And this can be done not just by quitting your job, but also by going to a job being unforgivingly yourself, yes. What you want to do is you want to think about how you can create and do what you love at wherever you go. And so no matter what kind of work you do or no matter where you go, if you can find a way to be yourself, you're gonna find what, that what you do is more fun. And that means if you're able to express yourself, talk openly with your coworkers and have fun and let go and be loose with yourself in the outer world, everything gets easier. 
And everything you do gets you on the path to where you need to go. If you enjoyed this advice, don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this and to stay in a healthy state of flow. Advice number three, if you want to enter into a state of flow, you gotta look at your needs, your primary needs in life. If you know your personality, you'll know what those needs are. An introvert, for example, will need a lot of alone time in order to truly harness what is special about them. Being alone gives you and helps you regain your batteries, recharging and giving you the power to go out into the world with more confidence. And if you're an extrovert, you'll know that you get into a flow state by talking to other people. That means engage the world and be and live in the outer world and talk to and engage and do things in a way that works for you. Don't slow yourself down just to fit in with other people, but allow yourself to be yourself. Similarly, if you're an intuitive, you want to spend as much time as possible on intellectual pursuits, enjoying and exploring creative ideas and allowing and challenging yourself to always think of things from a higher perspective. Similarly, if you're a sensing type, you'll find that you would like to and you should engage with the world physically, thinking of practical approaches to life, thinking of ways to stay present, thinking of ways to stay balanced and comfortable with the way things are. So everyone has their unique pathway to flow and you start finding flow by pursuing and allowing yourself to be yourself and giving yourself what you need in order to stay motivated and energized. People that live and closely aligned with their personality type, have more energy, more motivation, and higher confidence. People that force themselves to be something opposite of what they are have less energy, more anxiety, and more uncertainty, and lack of motivation. Advice number four. Always challenge yourself to go to the next level, and challenge yourself appropriately. All these people are constantly challenging themselves to do things better, to do things differently, to think more out of the box. They know there is a higher level out there that is just about their reach. And the more strong and the more capable and the more confident they become, the higher the challenge that they can assume and the greater the sense of motivation and passion towards what they do. Our degree of flow is directly proportional to our degree in challenge in life. If you're not challenged by life, by your work or what you do, you're going to stagnate. And stagnation is the core problem with society today. Too many of us spend too little time really pushing ourselves to our limits. And it's when we hit our limits and we transcend our limits that we really find and transcend the self. And that's the highest level of flow.